hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and today's topic is one of the popular and famous topic in which we will try to understand if underscore and underscore equal to one then set what really happens there to understand this topic we need to understand how data step works especially when we are using a set statement that is we are not reading from external file now at a very high level data step has two phases the first one is the compilation phase where variable attributes are set and pdv is created execution phase is the phase where data is loaded by iteration into pdv and then into data set and the important point to remember here is data is retained from one iteration to another especially when we are reading from set statement now what i have done in here is i am using a set statement in here and also i have two put statement here what put statement does is it puts the variables or the values we want to keep in the log it will do that for us here what i am doing is i am saying before reading which is a text and also i am doing underscore or underscore so it keeps this particular text and also all the variables into the log and same is the case with put statement in here also but here the text is little bit different that is after reading and then everything is same that is we want to keep the variables into the log now why i have kept two put statements in here is the first put statement is before reading anything from this sas help dot class and this put to put all the variables after reading from the sas data set now let us quickly run this and see what happens if you see in the log we will see many variables but i want you to focus on underscore and underscore I have made a very detailed video on underscore and underscore. This is an automatic variable and it's also a temporary variable, which means it is not written to the data set and this is used only during data step processing. N underscore N indicates number of times a data step has iterated. What does an iteration here means? Here the iteration means before we start reading anything from this data set to reading from this data set into pdv and writing into this sas data set constitutes one iteration so when you want to read again then we have to go into another iteration now with that knowledge let's get back to our main topic here if you see in the first iteration what is happening is all the variable values are missing before reading anything from sas help dot class but once it has read the values from sas help dot class the very first observation that is from this observation what has happened is all the values are populated and these values are written to sas data set in here and now the very important point comes into the picture here here what happens is all the values are retained to the second iteration also you can see the start of second iteration wherein if you see before reading we have all the values from first iteration this is the most important point and once it reaches or once it reads sas help dot class it reads the second observation and it overwrites the all the retained values and then it writes to sas data set and third iteration starts but everything from second iteration is retained and then once it reads it is overwritten now whole of our concept is dependent on this retain values from one iteration to another now let us get back to our code here i have a proc means 
and here what I am trying to do is to get average height from all the heights in SAS at dot class. For that I have proc mean step wherein I am also doing output out equal to. I don't want to go into this code for right now but what I am showing is I am running a proc mean step and I am creating a new data set which I am calling as my data set and it has average height and also want you to focus on that this is only one value we have in here. Now let us go back to our code screen. Now my goal here is to add this average value to all the observations in SAS help dot class something like this. Now let us see how we can do this and why some of the attempts are not successful. Now let us see our first attempt wherein I am saying set sas help dot class my data set. In here my data set is the data set which I have created and it has average height. Now I want you to again understand in the terms of how data step works. First phase is compilation phase where all the variables and their attributes are set and PDV is created. And now in the execution phase, whenever we have this kind of setup, what will happen is first it will read all the values from SAS help dot class. And once this data set is complete, then only it reads from my data set. This is generally useful to concatenate data sets, but in our case that is not our requirements. Now let us quickly run this and see our results. You can see that all the variables are set but our value is written at the bottom. But what we wanted was we wanted our values to be written somewhere in here. Now let us try to use a different style wherein we can say set sas dot class and again set my data set. Now again we have to understand this in the context of data step processing. All the variables and their attributes are set in compilation phase and how this also happens I have made a very detailed video on that and the link for the same I will give in the description below. Here it picks up all the variables from here and the variables from here and then our PDV is also created during compilation phase and here what we need to understand is whenever we write one set statement after another state statement it reads first iteration from here and then from here and let's quickly try to run this and see why this fails. Now once I run this code you can see that we have only one observation but it is exactly similar to what we want that is we want average height value next to our all the variables in here. But if you see all other observations are not read. Why this is happening? So whenever it reads from arrangement like this what happens is it reads first observation from here and then it reads the first observation from here and once the first iteration is over it writes back to this data set and it comes into second iteration. When it comes into second iteration we are here having my data set in which there is no second observation. So it finds the end of file marker. So what it does is it stops the iteration and we have only one observation. So what simply we can do is instead of reading or instead of saying set my data set if we can say if underscore and underscore equal to one then set my data set what will happen is 
this again goes into iteration in the first iteration it reads the first observation from here and as we have said or we have given a condition if underscore and underscore equal to 1 so when our first iteration it reads this data set it reads that particular one observation it is not going to read again when we go into second iteration because when we are going into second iteration it reads the observation from here as the condition is not true it's not going to do anything in here in that way it is going to read all the rows from sas help dot class now another important point to remember in here in here if you remember in the very beginning i have said that what happens is records are retained from one observation to another unless it is overwritten in this case for the variable average height there is no overwriting for that particular variable so it reads for the first time and then it retains for all the observations now let us run this code and see our observations or our results here you can see that this particular value is retained now let us again try to use our put underscore logic and then try to find our results I am copying my put from here and going to paste in here and then I am also going to paste it in here and also I am going to change this before to after and let us quickly try to run this also and try to understand it even more better by looking into the log now once I run this what will happen is if we see in the log and if we see into average height average height did not had any value in the beginning of the first iteration but once it gets into the first iteration its value is there as we are reading from set statement it is going to be retained all the way through so this is kind of automatic retain without giving any retain statement and also let's try to remove this as we don't need this put statement in here this kind of code especially is useful if we want to combine one observation to many observations and where there is no common variable on which we can merge but we can simply use if underscore and underscore equal to one then set kind of logic that's all for this topic if you like this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you